<laughs> I'm the Peter C. of Peter C. Presents, but even a little caricature on that one. Back when I had a lot of hair, most of it gone he's now, down thank there. you. Let's go point it out on Wait, the poster. Wait, he's, he's on here? He's yeah. down here? This picture's on one of the posters. What color is the poster? It's a green one. <laughs> okay, we're going we're gonna to go look for your picture. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -oh. Let's go down there. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> Did you laugh when you first oh, saw him? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> right there. There he is. That's the Peter C. Peter C. of Petery. That's him right there. Peter C. presents. Yeah, there's a few of them. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. I think there's probably eight. You know, so they're not all like one. No, I don't have a shirt. Peter C. Kavanaugh to Wild Wednesdays. Wild Wednesdays? Yep, sure with Boris Davison. And these are some of awesome. his posters, and I'm signing them for him. That he, he's, he's been saving them. Saving them? Mm -hmm. What years are they from? 71 through what, 74? 71 71, 71, 73. That one I didn't have the year on. You didn't have a year on it on a lot of them. I know, the and that was one. well when you, when I'm doing posters back then. The thing is, is like you don't think, hey, somebody's gonna be looking at these in the future. For sure, yeah. And I'm thinking, oh, Pete needs this for the show coming up next month That's or right. something. And you don't. Well, you know what I did is I got, the, I got the. <laughs> I've been a half hour, Dennis. Can you get it done? No problem. I might need 31 minutes. My God, <laughs> this one time. <laughs> You know they got a thing where you can pick a pick a date and it looked oh, up. Oh, that's right. And I went and I and I got on a separate sheet. I've got all of them dated, the exact date and year. Matter of fact, I ought to send that to you for your own information. Well, I got a program I haven't used it yet from uh, Michael Earlywine. You know who he is? He's got a website called ClassicPosters.com. Oh yeah. And he's the guy that he developed uh, all music.
No, but he'll put um he'll put his name in there or he writes we sell rabbits <laughs> different things like that yeah so there's hidden things like the, there's a guy jimmy hendrix down there he has a like throw did yeah. you see the jimmy hendrix no throw? i didn't he wrote the words <laughs> he wrote words of the song in the fro all the way around the outer end. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Sweet. And then he put something hidden in the scarf, too. Okay. So, I'll look for it. All right. We'll see I'll you later. look for it. We'll cover you. Don't you worry. All right. We'll take care of you. All right. Hey, John. Gonna be on TV? Yes. This You're is just, gonna be national TV. Just your TV? No, national. Oh. National. But you look great. <laughs> She's got an art gallery in Lexington. And does caricatures. And so I said, You've got to meet my buddy Denny. 
don't have insurance. I know. <laughs> no, no, you don't. No. no, matter of fact, I got in trouble in high school because I didn't care concerned. No. Oh, no. no. Principal on the, on the <laughs> paper. And I put him like this with a peace medallion. Okay. And he sent, right me, he sent me a, a letter to my parents. This was for life. <laughs> I drew one. I had to go down and apologize. But I thought I drew one of my princess ones, and I thought you were going to be the You know, because the teacher said, you know, Mr. Johnson's here to see you. You know, he came up to the art. And I did a poster of him. Like, he's got the Superman curl, so I put the Superman curl there. Made him look like Superman, but he gave him skinny legs and big muscles. And he came in there and he said, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you were lucky. But, well, he, he liked it a lot. And the thing was, is like, it got burned. somebody burned his own two years after that. So he felt bad that it got burned up in it, but he liked it. Yeah. So it's not like, so like what you did. I got a problem. <laughs> Thomas is here. Yeah. Hello. Hi, Daddy. Oh, welcome to Preston's Art. <laughs> um, I'd like to show you around here. There's quite a range of concerts that Dennis did. Posters in the Everybody liked Dennis, so he was the guy that did all the posters around here for just about every concert in Michigan that happened in a whole period, certain period of time. So we'd like to start out right away with talking to his firstborn daughter. Who's that? <laughs> Elena. <laughs> How you doing, Elena? I'm great. <laughs> What's it like to sit around the house when you were little and watch your dad scribble on the kitchen table with all these posters? What was that like? What was it like? And, hmm. uh, I you... don't fully remember it. You don't remember it, huh? No. I think I was not around. Did you think that most most parents had um, different fathers like yours, or that yours was just a normal everyday father guy? I think that he was a normal everyday father guy. I think I took him for granted. You took him for granted? Yeah. I didn't like the fact that he was an artist. Ah. Was that because you were jealous? Or yeah. Because it took a lot of time. It, w it was because I was jealous that everybody knew him and they didn't know me. Oh, we all knew you, but we knew you by a different name, which we won't use. <laughs> Peanut? No, I wasn't Peanut. No, you were. Pook. 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 Remember Pook? Yes. I'm well, still one. Pook. Are you? Mm -hmm. I thought you didn't like that. Did I say that when I was little? No, you said that when you were older. Oh. Well, I think it's because people thought I was being called Poop. Oh, Poop? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that would be bad. That would be bad. <laughs> well, let's... Uh, so are you going to take me on a tour? Yeah, let's take a little tour. Okay, let's do that. Let's start right... Okay. I don't know if these are in chronological order, because you can kind of st tell by the style. And, you know, there's no years on these, so I'm not sure. There's some rather famous bands on here, like the Climax Blues Band, the Rider, Frigid Pink, you know. Uh, you can go here, this is John Mayall. I recognize that name. Oh, it's incredible that he got to do some of these posters. It's amazing. And I hope the, the people that he did some of these for that are really famous actually ever got copies of them. And a, a big local band was playing about rap. Oh, uh, yeah. This yes. was one that, uh, this was, everyone thought, whether you're a musician or not, the Plain Brown Rapper was the band that was obviously the best for anything. Really? I didn't realize it was that popular back then. Oh, yeah. They were the ones who did songs that nobody else would even try. Like, they did Sgt. Pepper's and Dan the Life and all that. No other band would even try to do that. Wow. Ike and Tina Turner here. I mean, this, and this was at the uh, Barton Coliseum in Little Rock, Arkansas. Oh my god, I didn't know about that one. Huh? Three Dog Night. You know, there's some great voices for you. Uh-huh. And uh, Bob Seeger and his copy to Garden Van Winkle. This is a, must be a Michigan one. Yep, Sherwood Forest and Davidson. King Biscuit Boy, Mike Quattro Jam Band, Richard Page, Rumor, Whiz Kids. Now, Rumor, I just saw that on that one. Was Rumor a big band? No, not that I remember. Okay. But, you know, then again, I was probably inebriated most of the time. 
Now this is a Christian uh, couple of guys here. This was probably later. This was probably late 70s, early 80s. Phil Keggy, who, who a lot of people always thought sounded a little bit like Paul McCartney. Um, Steve Miller Band here. Yeah. See some of these this in Grand Rapids. Cheech and Chong, a couple comedians here. A couple comedians. This is good. This is good stuff. Um, the third, what does it say? The third zone or something? Bob Seeger, Siegel Schwal. These guys are good. This is a good harmonica player. Yeah. Ted Nugent, of course. And the Dukes. Another Dukes poster, Brownsville Station. See, all these people had albums and stuff. I mean, this is amazing. Ormandy. My guy I used to live with, he used to live upstairs in my house, was from Ormandy. Huh. SRC, Universe, Mag this, this is a good one, where is this? The Michigan Monster, Sherwood Forest and Davidson, I see. John Hammond, I, mean, I believe he's a keyboard player, he played with, uh, he played with a lot of different people. John Hammond? Oh, I'm sorry. And there's a little more fancy ones here, we've got larger versions, can you see that? Yeah. Oh, good. Then Universe, this was another big local band. Um, I'm not sure about this one. Marcus. I'm not sure about this one. I remember I went to this Leon Russell, Edgar Winter, The Birds, Rare Earth. This so you went to that big. particular concert? I believe so, yes. Hmm. Did you know my dad at that time? Oh, I've known your dad since when he just got out of high school. Oh. Wow. Back in 1969. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. He was just a kid. Yeah. Barry McGuire. I'm not sure who this is. Bearded Flam. Bearded Clam. Bearded Clam in the era Doty Roseville Ballroom. See, I wish I knew when some of these were because they have dates but not your day. Here's another one. Phil Clark. Or Paul Clark with Phil Clayton. Peggy. <laughs> All right. We got food here too. Yeah, we do. We got quite the layout. There's a there's a munchkin behind you. Oh, okay. she just took there off. She go. Well, we can get someone else to do the other side. Okay. It'll probably be more interesting. <laughs> well, thank you for the history lesson. Oh yeah. <laughs> what? You're gonna what? <laughs> Wait, I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> this is my high school art teacher. Yeah. And this is her husband. <laughs> he was like, he was gonna try to hide. Uh, yeah, he was. He was trying to get out of the view of the camera. <laughs> now I'm videotaping you guys making faces. Is that what? <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's intense. Is that? <laughs> That's intense. And you can draw that picture. <laughs> Freeze it and draw it. Here, wait. Do it one more time. One more time. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I, gonna, did, I did say that a few times. I'm going to catch my brother before he goes. Go. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go videotape him catching his brother. <laughs> Hello. Who's that girl? She's the girl from college. Too. <laughs> What's her name? <laughs> uh, Andrea. 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 <laughs> How long have you been sitting here talking to her? <laughs> At least it starts with an A. <laughs> I remembered that. You heard it. what? I remembered that. Oh. Okay, let's see this angry dance. The angry dance. Where should I do it? Let's go in this corner so we don't I should, hit people. I should probably do it on stage. Uh, yeah, you should. Ooh, go up on stage. <laughs> That'd be perfect. But, let's see, could I actually do that? On stage? <laughs> Huh. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Let's see your talent here. See my talent? Yeah. There it is. That's your talent. Did you make that? With my teeth. No. <laughs> no, my my siblings picked it out for me. Ooh, awesome. All right. Ooh, look at you got a dance floor right here. Look at that. Well, look at that. I don't know why I'm hesitating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> or why you're still recording. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to dance for me. Yeah, but I need to go somewhere else. Somewhere outside of the building? 
Do you want to go do it on the street? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna do the surprise dance. This is what you see people doing sometimes, and it looks like they're surprised, so I named it. Alright, it goes like. How does it go? Like. I just, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start. Okay, just start. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna start. Okay, you Are you nervous? I'm getting cold! Yeah. So, see, it's, it's like, uh. Oh, shoot, how does it go? Like... <laughs> come on, Lou. I remember. Wait, come I don't remember. Like a surprise birthday party and you're I'm like... I'm gonna go in that alley for a second. Okay. <laughs> oh, come on, Lou. Luke, I'll give you a quarter. No, it's like... It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Do the angry dance! The angry dance? Okay, then there's the angry dance. Where, where you're, you're offended that somebody's standing next to you in this crowded club. Where you go... That <laughs> 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 was cute! <laughs> Just point it over there. Oh. What's that? Yeah, yeah, you. That's what he said. Where is she? Hello, my name is Elena. Dude, I'm telling you straight up. This camera, sweet. 1995. You know, I took it out in the woods and got a little radius on it. Not a problem. See? The bear turned, looked at me. Yeah. So I've had absolutely no problems with it, and I think it'd be a pretty smart buy on your part. Oh, well, okay. I'm just. I'm gonna think it over, eh? I'll talk to my wife before I spend that much money. So anyway... Bought my dad's prints. What did you get there? Yeah, I think you should buy some of that too. You know... You know... Maybe not. Let's see the man. Mother, in a hat, nice hat, real nice hat. There's the man, the man of the hour, the man in whose honor we stand here today. Hi, I'm Dennis, I'm Dennis Preston.
Uh, are you living here now? Or? Yes, I live with both my parents. Where? In Lansing, Michigan. Yeah. And you're doing what? Oh, yeah. And, and here we have Jen and the Manster. Yeah. <laughs> That's a sore spot, man. This is, oh, well. Ow. <laughs> Not too many people know you for that, though. No. Um, Explain it to them. You'd have to dub that over. <laughs> the Manster? Yeah. It's like, it's oh, you mean tape. edit it out? Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the bat. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. This is the bat. <laughs> Do it in your... <laughs> this is bat. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. <laughs> this is bat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have, we have stories to tell. Oh, do we? Oh, you hear you. Oh, well, the first thing I wanted to say <laughs> is um, keep it clean. I was 17. I was my first year of college. I was so square, and I fell deeply in love with the first guy I met, and he, it wasn't him. And he was going to a concert, and I remember crying in my room because I was just. You know, I kind of wanted to go to the concert, but for some reason I wasn't invited, and I was just crying and crying. And now I realize that two of my husbands were in that building that night. <laughs> so anyway. Both, both future husbands. Yeah, both future husbands. And we're not talking Mr. McGuinn. <laughs> no, no. Now point to the name of the band. There it is. Right there. And here. Just, just one of the members. And what were you playing in the band at the time? Guitar and piano. And not drums yet? Correct. No. <laughs> and did you hang out with the birds? They weren't really, they weren't real chummy. Were they and in strong? fact, I remember being disappointed in that we had to set up a separate PA. They wouldn't allow the other bands to use the same PA that they had which you know, smacked of a bit of an attitude that I wasn't expecting, no. shall we say. Or used to. Or could have been even sharing the same microphones because of germs. Well, that's, you know, we have mics. Mics are easy to carry, you know. PA systems, you sort of assume that when you're on a bill with multiple groups that you're going to have one PA system to share it. And it was, this was in a gym, as I recall. So this guy, right here, yeah. saying he was my friend, was no friend of yours. Well, that night at least. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. You know, Clarence White was in the band at the time. Really? Point out Clarence. Is this Clarence? I didn't know that. Well, it's, you know, this is post, post Graham Parsons. That is Clarence. You oh, think okay. that is? Yeah. You think or that is? this one. <laughs> They you, both look like you know, outlaws. Maybe you could they all talk, look the same. Maybe you could talk to the artist and you know, find out. Maybe he doesn't remember. Right. It was a couple of years ago. Was this 1970? Yeah. 1970. It was. That's it was 70. Yes. Because the, the Big Brother one, that was done around the same year. And yeah. since she died that year? Yeah, she did. Janice, that is. Janice died then. So I assume this was book. These were Lansing bands, and I think through we trad talent. Through, yes, uh, uh, Greg McCutcheon. Yeah, see, I don't even have to think of that. Yeah, he had an office in a in a building at the corner of Hagedorn and Grand River. In the basement. Yeah. So it's kind of an underground operation. Yeah. So. <laughs> Under the right thing. Okay. Now, who are these guys? Uh, the, the leftovers. The leftovers. <laughs> The hors d'oeuvres? The hors d'oeuvres. Well, you know, they were going and, you know, these are My name's Dave. Okay. Yeah. This Two guy, musicians. This, 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 this guy's this guy's on a number of the posters here, I see. Yeah. Okay. At least the band I was in. Okay. That's right. A couple right. posters. Right. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Me. Yeah, I am. Yeah, go, go. go. No, you already had me down here. Oh, yeah, I know, you know, but you, you guys, I, I wanted to catch you guys talking about music history because you were here doing it. Right. There was a lot of it. Well, no. <laughs> it, it's in the past, but, well, I would say, um, you know, part of the music scene revolving 
around East Lansing it was based on the fact that East Lansing was a dry town. Mm. And so there was a lot of music on campus. And even in that period of, of say, the late 60s and early 70s, I would also tend to add that alcohol wasn't generally the intoxicant of choice for many. So uh, being under drinking age wasn't always a, a big concern, at least as far as getting into bars. But there was so much music in venues above and beyond bars. And that's where their band ended up a lot. It was behind McDonald's, the bus station, in the yeah, outdoor concerts. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Sunday afternoons. Yeah. Sunday afternoons. Yeah. One of the treats I remember in East Lansing was being uh, right downtown, right on, the, right on the sidewalk, and Frank Zappa, the mother's invention, was playing in the uh, Union, and they were just standing in front of the stores, and people were talking to them, suspenders and all. Just hanging out during the day, and then we went to the concert that night. Did you guys? Lots of oil lights. And were you guys playing that night? No, we were just. You were there to see him. Up Frank Zappa. Yeah. Quite a deal. And there he is over there. there. He is. <laughs> At least a picture of him. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get a quick one here so people know. Okay. And then uh, when when he came back and played at MSU in the early 70s, the the story was that the stage they were on for this second show was about the size of the room that they played in the Union Ballroom, was it? Yeah. I believe, Union Ballroom. It was so, the Union Ballroom. Right, and so they were saying, well, the stage is the size of the room they played in last time. <laughs> it was upstairs. In the yeah. yeah. We had the what? good fortune to play at Shaw Hall and a few other places on campus. Outdoor things. Yeah. Um, yeah, there was a lot, there was a lot going on. It's interesting to me, having been around East Lansing for all these years and seeing the drinking age go down, drinking age go back up. And so a large percentage of MSU students don't qualify to get into bars, but everything's still centered around bars. You don't see the kind of the grassroots types of shows and things. And, you know, it's a different era, obviously. Maybe somebody should uh, do that again. Well, Maybe know, somebody with a store that could sponsor a well, concert. Well, it needs to be somewhat spontaneous. You know, you can't recreate. No, you, you know, can't. And uh, you know, it's, I, well, I don't want to get into a music history thing here, but oh, okay. you, know, you can't recreate. You know, the scenes that spawned this or that. It wouldn't. You know? It wouldn't be the same. Exactly. No. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go here. Who are these folks? Hi. <laughs> We're taking a stroll down memory lane. Are you now? Is yeah. it really working? Uh, yeah, we were. We decided we were both at the Muddy Waters concert. <laughs> were you? The stables, yeah, yeah. Strong possibility. Strong possibility. We both were at the stables. And look how many days he played. So it could have been. Um, I like the prices back then. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> I'll get in there so people can actually see how much they were paying to go see him. Yeah, right, right. I might have made more money off that poster making it than he did playing there. No, no. No, I didn't get a whole lot for that. You see that you did a lot of stuff for the, for the stables. A few posters. I did. Yeah, yeah. It was a great place. I did. Um, some of the other posters were the folk ones. Mm -hmm. I don't have any of those up. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I did for them. Oh, hello, hello. Uh oh. Okay, now, is he telling you the story? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> About, and some of the, the hit tunes, like See the Comb I Bought, <laughs> which actually, the, they didn't take the lyrics, but the music was stolen by Santana, from my hit song. I mean, it was See the Comb I Bought. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. Did you know about this? No, I didn't. Like, oh, you oh, oh, get closer and hear about like this story that. here. They made a lot of money off of it. I never did. They Tell them the lyrics to See the Comb I Bought. See the Comb I Bought. You'll like it. It combs hair a lot. It combs hair a lot. It's nice. <laughs> 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 you didn't know about that. No, no. Yeah. yeah. I I see the comb I bought. If you had my poster down here, I would have gladly posed and signed autographs. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, he has a concert poster, yeah, too. I do. Of him. Classicposters.com. Yeah. And he posted it. It's not there. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. He had a lot of, a lot of, a lot of hair. Lots yeah, of, I, lots oh, of I, I didn't know just that. Those, those pictures that I found in 
my mother's house. There's some pictures of a family thing there. Me at, at my mother's house with the relatives. You know, I had a goatee down to about here. My hair's all long and stringy and wild and drinking beer and making faces and stuff. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, oh well, look, see, this is, this is the band he was in at the time. This is the, yeah. No, I don't have any stories about that That's, concert. Don't remember that concert, huh? Uh, I, I'm sure I played at Saginaw Auditorium a number of times, but... Uh, it kind of all runs together. Yeah. There's a lot of concerts. We played concerts all the time. That's what you're hearing now, playing, too. That's the band he was in. That's kind of different, having an actual person here, yeah. having the name, and, the and having the music. How about that? It's having like an actual a, person and, and the actual artwork. Yeah. That? And the actual artist. And you know, we're huh? all actual people. Isn't that a Actually. Piece? In spite of everything. Wow. <laughs> Let's hear it for people. Let's hear it for actual. Up, up, up with people. Up with people. Oh, actually, well, up with people. What was that thing they did on the Simpsons? Like, uh, uh, making fun of one of these like uh, inspirational singing groups, the Up With Everything. Why are you love those kids? Now, uh, he lives so in Harbor thing. Springs. Most of question. So, Robert. Yeah. Tell us, tell us about some of these uh, concerts here that you never went to. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm still crying over this I, because I grew up in, La well, not even grew up in Lansing, but I was in Lansing during this period of time, and there were so many of these concerts. I mean, on a weekend, you could, there was grandmothers, you know, you could go to grandmothers and see acts like Sly and the Family Stone, Aerosmith. You could go to the stables and see Charlie Mingus, Eddie Harris. There was also the Dales out in uh, out in the Lake Lansing area. There was concerts at People's Park in East Lansing. I mean, there were just there was there isn't anything like it today. But unfortunately, because there was so much music going on during that period of time, you just took it for granted that if you don't see something this weekend, next weekend you could see something. So a lot of these concerts that I I regret not going to. A lot of these people don't exist anymore, and I'm just well, and and I, I'm just heartbroken that I didn't take advantage of it. Well, sh show me some of the ones that you would have liked to have gone to. Oh, well, we're just standing right here, like Charlie Mingus. I mean, this guy is just absolutely fabulous, and of course, I didn't see that. Uh, Pharaoh Sanders, one of my favorites. You know, he has <clears throat> on one of his albums he did this uh, song called. Uh, Oh, what's it called? I can't think of it now. But anyway, he's one of my favorites. Just one of these real far out jazz musicians. He was there. I didn't now, see it. Now, what instrument does he play? Uh, Pharaoh Sanders plays saxophone. Huh? And then, of course, Miles Davis was at the stables. All these acts came through the stables. And, you know, it's just, and even during that period of time, these guys were just famous. They were at the top of their game. But uh -huh. I just, I didn't take advantage of it. Uh -huh. Didn't take advantage of it. And I saw, there's another one here from Stables, Muddy Water. I didn't see Muddy Waters at the stable, but I did see Muddy, Muddy Waters during that period of time. And some now, of these other acts that were at the stables, I didn't necessarily see them at the stables, but I did see them. Now, but, somebody told me that Muddy Waters came through here a lot. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> and I think, if I remember correctly, he was even on campus a lot. And there were a lot of blues acts that were at the Kiva and other places on campus, you know, like James Cotton Blues Band and some of the others. And uh, so, yeah, it was just... It was just a, just a slew of people that came through that were just really great during that period. And then what were you doing at that time that you didn't go to these concerts? Were you watching TV or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I'm probably creating artwork, doing my own artwork. I was uh -oh. doing a lot of artwork during that period of time. Or I could have been at some other concert, you know. It just You could start out, you could just drop in. You could start out at Grandmother's and Sienna and Act, stay there for an hour, go to the Dells, you know, for an well, hour. Okay, so the cover charge on these were something that you could do that. Oh, oh yeah, a couple like of bucks. Two bucks or a buck or whatever, yeah. For instance, like like this one, Muddy Waters at the Stables. They're a whole week, Monday and Tuesday, $2, Wednesday, Thursday, two fifty, and then Friday and Saturday, they, they really hit you up like for $3.50. So, oh, I'm sorry, $3. So it was. How much do you yeah. think he got paid for doing one, that concert then? That's not uh, a lot. Probably not a lot, and they, I don't know, I don't know what the deal was with these bars and these musicians, whether or not they got the total take, 
or percentage of it. But just to get people in there, I mean, you could pack, if you pack the place. Here's Pete. He says, he says, Signing the book for <laughs> Dennis. Ah. Uh, I'm at the bookstore right now. Yeah, players. The the book that Pete wrote. Whoa, you're writing another book. That's right. I'm leaving Dennis everything in my will. Oh. To Dennis Preston, I leave you a yacht. That 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 yeah. You have a yacht. Dennis was so kind. At the very back of this book, you'll see right here all these delightful posters which we saved and thanks to my friend John Smith who's over here who has been my archivist were it not for John these would have been lost to posterity had I not run into Dennis again and uh, so part of Michigan history without Dennis Preston Michigan history would have died with the departure of Barry Gordy for California. Thank you very Whoa. much ladies and gentlemen. Wow. <laughs> and, and you can sign this too please? Sure. Whereabouts? Uh, you can go all over Okay. All over where it's white next to your Super caricature Sunday. there. What year is this? 1972. How oh, cool. Very good year. How oh, cool. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Paparazzi. Hey, it's great. Here wow. I am. Haven't changed a bit. Security. This is it. the last outdoor festival of the year. That's right. I'm zooming in there so yeah, they can I see actually, it. I actually used to have hair back there. <laughs> 72. <laughs> Now you're built 33 for... 33 short years ago. Wow. Oh, Petey say, this is the last one this year. <laughs> Pete said the gates open at 10 a.m., but the concert lasts Friday from 12 noon to 10 p.m. Lasts from, not Friday. It's in black. Can't really see the way I used to. <laughs> I had $5, I'd go in. Za, za. Hey, what, what does za, za, za mean? Za. Well, you know, when I saw this, I thought... Dennis has actually captured the essence of existentialism in those two little syllables because in a way they say nothing but in saying nothing they do say it all because anything is part of everything and nothingness is part of the extension of tomorrow into yesterday and the future. Dennis, only you could have come up with that. Oh, Good well, work. Thank you. Now, do you think that represents your li listeners back then? <laughs> I, just, I love the choppers. <laughs> za, za. This guy could eat a cheeseburger through a picket fence. <laughs> he could eat one through his navel. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> my pleasure. I have five dollars. I go in. See you again. All right. Wow. Well, thank go. you. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> my pleasure. Now, Dennis, I got to get you behind the uh, behind the counter. I mean, as the archivist. Uh-oh. I have to get you and him. And I didn't want to get in the way of this guy. Look at this guy go to town. That's all right. I'll move here so you can start taking pictures. Sorry if I get a cold push. Well, please, please. I'd be most honored. Hi. Smile. And where's this guy from? I'm from uh, Lansing Community College. No, come on. Where are you from? Where are you from? There you go. There you go. I just wanted to hear you say it short. <laughs> we'll watch his beard grow. Okay. Are you getting that, John? Yeah. Yeah. A, a photo of the photographer taking a photo. Mm -hmm. picture of a, a picture of a picture. How's that? For it's, yeah, it's kind of like an Escher. Fellini esque. <laughs> oh, now he's talking pizza. Yeah, coffee, coffee, <laughs> Do I have to smile before I come in? Uh oh. Got a visiting author. Thank you. Are you kidding me? Dennis, Dennis, Dennis. <laughs>